Good morning friends. I am Ashish Agarwal from Team Angel Enabler and I know most of you are worried about how to access the income tax portal which has been launched newly on 7th June 2021 for various compliances and timelines to be met under the act especially renewal of registrations under section 12A or 12AA 1023C and 80G. I remember mentioning in my earlier video on the topic where I shared the unique facilities of new income tax portal which was launched on 7th June that we will come up with a video on how to access the new portal and avail its facilities. But unfortunately, here I am sharing with you all multiple technical glitches being faced by the taxpayers, professionals and other stakeholders while accessing the new portal instead of how to avail the new facilities on the portal. Before moving on to the topic, I would like you to take note that this is just an educational awareness being shared for the charitable organizations about the latest developments on the matter of new income tax portal and to reduce their anxiety of not being able to access the facilities. Our intention is not to go into any critical analysis of either the ministry concerned or the company responsible for the creation and implementation of the new portal. So from the very first day, since the new income tax portal was launched, the portal started creating multiple inconveniences for the taxpayer instead of being taxpayer convenient as was promised. We started receiving multiple queries from the very first day itself that many organizations are unable to log in with their old passwords. Some are saying that they are unable to find form 10A after logging in. Some were saying they are unable to attach digital signatures and many such queries have been received by us in past few days. So, for answering to all such queries, let me share with you certain technical glitches associated with the portal till date, the sequence of important steps taken by the ministry after the launch of the new portal and the latest development on the matter. First, coming to the technical glitches that are being faced by the taxpayers, professionals and other stakeholders, specifically while trying to file the renewal of registrations for continuity of tax exemptions. In a number of cases, the organizations are not able to log in with the old passwords and an error is being generated. It seems that the passwords have not been properly integrated with the taxpayers PAN. Secondly, even in some cases, the login is getting successful they are unable to find the option of Form 10A from among the various income tax forms listed under the e-file tab as even you can see on the screen. However, I remember in the initial few days of the launch, the form was available, but at the time of filling the form, in the beginning itself, the assessment year was to be selected from the drop-down, which was available only till assessment year 2020-21. If you would have checked out my earlier video on the process of how to fill form 10A. You will recall that in the previous portal, the assessment year 2022-23 used to get auto-populated once you select form 10A. So even if form 10A was available now, you could not have filled it up for renewing your registrations because of incorrect assessment year. In our view, the organizations need to be patient and not worry about the deadline of 30th June 2021 because the ministry is well aware of the facts and surely will come up with the decision of extension of timelines. Another major change that was found is in the DSC utility software, the digital signature utility software. Now, instead of the Java utility, the EM signer utility is available, which in our view implies that you will require the physical token of the digital signature while filing any forms or returns on the new income tax portal, unlike the previous one where the signature files could have been generated and attached even later. 
in many cases where some of the organizations tried to fill the form 10a which was available in the initial few days it was found that their information was not saved on the new portal which was very much available on the earlier portal apart from above in few of the queries which we received there were complaint of session getting expired and even after multiple attempts they were unable to complete the form or upload the documents now coming to the sequence of steps taken after the glitches were found on the new income tax portal and latest development on the matter the message of honorable finance minister was found on twitter the very next day of the launch according to which she was in receipt of a number of grievances about glitches on the portal and requested infosys the vendor company to not let down the taxpayers of the country her message also stated is in compliance of taxpayers as the priority in response to her tweet the non executive chairman of infosys mr nandan nilkani stated that the new portal will surely enhance the experience of taxpayers and will bring ease in filing process however he regretted the software glitches and expected that the system shall stabilize during that week this implied the technical issues should have been resolved by now but the inconsistencies still persisted thus in its latest press release which was released just yesterday on 15th june 2021 the ministry of finance have informed that the senior officers of the ministry will be holding an interactive meeting on 22nd june 2021 between 11 am to 1 pm with the infosys team on the issues and glitches being faced from the new income tax portal they will be there to clarify and resolve the queries related to such technicalities and receive inputs on the working of the new portal the other stakeholders including the members of the icai auditors consultants and taxpayers will also be a part of the interaction till then written representations have also been invited by all the stakeholders on the difficulties being faced from the portal taking another view doesn't this imply that the new income tax portal might continue with such issues till the meeting is completed on 22nd june 2021 and the action is taken over the discussion to be held so should not the ministry or the central board of direct taxes announce immediate extension of the due dates for various compliances under the act to provide relief to the taxpayers especially the charitable organizations are waiting to apply for their very important renewal of registrations let us pray and hope that the decision on this matter is taken soon but at least with this video most of you must be feeling relaxed that you are not alone in the struggle and the situation is same all across the country also the issues have already come to the notice of all the concerned the ministry the department and the software company involved and quick actions for resolution will soon be taken for more such updates keep tuned and subscribe to our channel for any queries you can email or comment below thank you